as the moment we begin to be launching the procession of the children that are going to be invested today.
at which you would be, and especially as leaders, we feel angry many times because we think the other person should do a thing in a way, but they don't don't do it, and we feel angry. At such times, we tend to do things in a wrong way, in a biased way. But then I would like to encourage all of us that we need to do things right the way God wants us to do. Just imagine how many things we do against God every day. We think things which are against God, but still He does right with us. So the same thing we need to follow in our life of doing it right. Second thing is submit to authority. All of us, we need to submit to our authority. In Romans chapter 13, St. Paul says the same thing that you need to submit to your authority. Even if you are a leader, there is someone who is an authority over you. So you need to be submissive to the authority and do whatever your authority has or will tell you. The third thing, which again is very, very important, is to love one another, love others. It's very easy when we are all in, in, in one, uh, what do you say, in, in one level, but it's difficult to love others when we are leaders and we have followers with us. Because what we say, uh, what we think is, people should just listen to us and follow us. And it doesn't matter whether we love them or not. But as a principle, I would like to imbibe this in all of the monitors, all of the, all of the prefects, captains and everyone, that even as God has given you this responsibility of being a leader, please love others. And when you love others, then you do what is the best for others. You know, in Romans 13.10, it says that love does no harm to a neighbor. If you love your neighbor, that is what the word of God says. Jesus says, love your neighbor as yourself. So who is our neighbor? Whoever we come in contact with is our neighbor. So we need to love them. Next is be humble. You know, in 1 Peter, it says that humble yourselves before God and in due season, he will exalt you. You. As leaders, we need to humble ourselves before God. We need to come every day to God and ask His blessings on us and don't think that we know everything because there are many things which we don't know and we need, we need to understand. And God will help us. God will teach us. Being humble is the best quality a leader can have. You know, in Proverbs 22 verse 4, it says the reward for humility and fear of God is riches and honor and life. The reward for humility and fear of God is riches and honor and life. The next lesson I would like to give you is be wise. When we are handling situations, when we are handling people, it we tend to be more, you know, biased towards someone, maybe to our friends, but then we need to be wise because we are under God, we are under, under authority and we have to give an account to God first and then the others. Second, the uh, next principle would I, which I would like to share with all of us is the principle of sowing and reaping. Around four years ago when I joined uh, Baths and the next day when I joined, it was the prefix investiture and I remember standing here and addressing the students that time and this was my message about sowing and reaping. Whatever you sow, so you shall reap. If you sow love, you will reap love. If you sow hatred, you will reap hatred. Whatever you sow, you will reap. So as leaders, Try to sow something which is good because you are the one who will reap the benefits of it. And the last thing, again, which is very important is about conflict management. You know, what they say around the world is people are getting very impatient nowadays. They don't have patience. 
On the road you find that everywhere. People don't have patience. Everyone wants to go in front. And if someone comes in front, they get so angry, they give bad words, they kill each other also. So how are we going to manage a conflict? How are we going to manage situations which are difficult to handle? You know, in Romans chapter 12, verse 18 and 19, it says that live peaceably with those around us. That is our principle. No matter what happens, our mind, our whole self should be at peace. Because if we are angry, then we might react in a way which we will regret later. You know, in Matthew 7, 12, it says, treat others as you want them to treat you. So if I have done some mistake, I would expect my seniors to forgive me. But when my juniors or my people under me, when they do some mistakes, I will never forgive them. That is how the world is. But I would like to encourage us, treat others as you would like them to treat you. We saw seven principles in a very short time. Do right, submit to authority, love others, be humble, be wise, remember the principle of sowing and reaping, and manage your conflict, manage your moods, manage the, the situation which you would face in your life. Can we just close our eyes for a moment and think what God is telling us today? Can I request all of us to please stand? Let's spend some time in prayer, in silent prayer. In our prayer, let us remember the nations of the world, especially India, the church, all places of learning, particularly our society and our school. Let us thankfully remember before God those who have gone before us. Let us pray for His continued blessing on those who govern, on those who teach, and on those who learn. As on these prefects, that in our day and generation, they may be worthy of the traditions which they have inherited. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Let us sum our prayers in the words our Lord has taught us, saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You can be seated. May God bless you. Children, we shall now have the commissioning, and for this, may I request our principal, Mr. Edgar, for the prayer of commission, followed by the oath of commission. At this point, I request to all the middle school and senior school class monitors to kindly rise. God by whose grace thy servants are enabled to fight the good fight, and by faith to overcome evil with good, grant that these thy servants who are about to be commissioned as school monitors, prefects, and council members may all do their duties, uphold at all costs, the dignity and honor of their school. Help them to set 
examples to others, to think wisely, to speak rightly, to resolve bravely, to act kindly, to live purely, all to give thee the glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Class monitors for the academic year 2023-24, do you understand the duties and responsibilities of the class monitor? Do you undertake to work at all times to see that the standards of the school are maintained at the highest possible level? Yes. Do you undertake to cooperate with the administrative and teaching staff for the welfare and happiness of all in the school? Yes. Do you accept the office of the school monitors and resolve to do all in your power to uphold all that is good in this place and root out those things which are not creditable to the good name of our school. Thank you, sir. Please be seated, children. This for grade 5 for the year 23 24. And for this, may I request the pre primary coordinator, Mrs. Shannon Petrick, to kindly come out and present the badges. The class monitors for grade 5 can you stand? Sangvi Shivari, by P, we have Vidari Rajput.
Shall we have a Vedanta. Kiara Fernandez. Sai Sidney. Great six feet.
Eden Gardner. Rian Smandari. Bhakti Dameja. Esther De Silva. Pratik Shahkuti Ziyan Lala Great Seven C Aditya Shah Tanshan Rathor Itaks Makija Jui Maje Mahi Nukar Radha Asya Siona Shah Great Seventy Prince Surya Vanshi Shri Raj Akhri Sparks Asa Tanvi Pawar and Tanya Chawla. Thank you, ma'am, for doing us the honors. We shall now continue with the presentation of badges for class monitors for grade 8 for the year 23-24. And to do us the honors, may I request our assistant middle school coordinator, Mr. Leslie Lagria. Salit Lagavia Father presenting the badge to her, his daughter. Next, Dia Panjabi. Great 8B, Ayush Gaikar. Om Hashim. Arushi Nagli. Lakshmi Lokande Spandan Patoli
ग्रेड एट सी चिराग सिंह गर्चा निखिल कुमार सिंह रिजायर टिक्यूना राही बाजे ब्रिज एच टी आदित्य महादेव शैल धनंजय शिवांश दुबे सुमित बोराडे तनिष नारद करुणा साथे सुप्रिया जादव श्रावणी दुबे एंड वंशिका बिराड़ी Thank you, sir. Children, please sit down. We shall now cut the edges for class monitors for grade eight. Sorry, grade nine. And to do us the honors, we have our middle school coordinator, Mr. Colin Massey. Viraj Thakur, Adya Bhatta, Sanskriti Deshmo. Dhruv Mori Eden Hari Thangar Harini Jadeja Shivan Mikal Dhan Kume Ehman Vanya Das Great Night C Jonathan Mendes Mithilesh Rahani Park Upadhyay Anisha Sahu Rutrika Chau
Sasha, don't mind me. Great Nine D, Atharva Patan. Bhagyesh Surya Vansi. Afri Patan. And Purva Mukhtar. Thank you, sir. Great thank you, thank you guys. Ekang Snaidu. Neil Anda. Ryan Dilema, Almira Khan, Jia Gopalani, Sharif Mason, Great Tempi, Aryan Vasni, Devans Pardesi Guru Sanabhi Rupay Garu Riptansi Ainesh Adityam Mishra Abhinish Hiranandha Ayush Kumar Yadav Harshit Pavli Paras Gorge Pratnesh Jadav Tanish Devarika Veer Bola Kadambari Tahari Meghna Mori Grade 10D, Kumail Punamala, Sathak Nanadi, Anjali Kumaru, And read the nation. Great ten B, please come forward. Mr. Sam, Amanda DeMello,
Thank you, ma'am. Other college, junior college office bearers. May I request our principal to kindly do the commissioning. For the academic year 2023-24, do you understand the duties and responsibilities of a prefect? Do you promise to undertake willingly, cheerfully, such extra duties as may be given to you by the principal, your coordinators? Do you accept the office of prefect in this school and resolve to do your best at all times to make this place and school an example for other institutions everywhere. We shall now have the presentation of badges and sashes and for this may I call upon our junior college coordinator Mr. Deepak Rajput. From the 11 hours, COVID Sina. From Greek's house, Aditya Sharma, Greek Manish Taki, we have great webinars, Paras, Dondi. Jaden Anthony. From Royal House, Great Lemon Science, we have Anne Papad. Pushkar, Akhtar, Great Heaven, Science. From Spencer's, we have Ayan, Yodhavi Mada, Great Heaven, Science. Great Clement Thomas Paran Atar. Thank you.
Kesan as, and sessions for the school prefects for class 12. I now invite our boarding and new admission in charge, Mr. Francis D'Souza, to do us the honors. <laughs> Beginning with the Candy House, we have Hamza Sheikh from grade 12 science. From Jonah Park, Bhumi Puar of Grade 12 Commerce. <laughs> Kanak Sharma of Grade 12 Science. Tanisha Chauhan of Great Well Science. <laughs> Moving to the Greens House, Deepak Ambore of Great Well Science. Kushal Chinde of Great Well Science. <laughs> and Prayash Mayamachi of Great Well Commerce. From Helen Keller, we have Manchika Dada of 12 Science. From Royal House, Jay Singh of 12 Science. Pratamesh Jada of Well Commerce. <laughs> Vanch Rukwani of Well Commerce. From Eden Kamel, we have Richard Jatta from 12 Science. <laughs> Vanchika Rajpal from 12 Commerce. Moving to Spencer, Arman Singh Jolly of 12 Commons. <laughs> Joshua De Silva of 12 Commons. Suel Kakar of 12 Commons. <laughs> Kabir Kanore of 12 Humanities.
moving to Florence Nightingale, Shruti Palde of 12 Commas. And lastly, Yudhika Kovar of 12 Science. Thank you, sir. We shall now have the commissioning of the House Vice Captains and the Sports Captains as well. And to do us the honors, may I request our principal to Peggy commission the vice captains and the sports captains, Peggy Stank, with the award put to you by the president. House. Vice Captains and Sports Captains for the academic year 2023-2024. Do you understand the duties and responsibilities of a House Vice Captain and Sports Captain? Do you promise to undertake willingly, cheerfully, extra duties as may have to be shown done by you in your capacity as House Vice Captain and Sports Captain? We do. Office of House Vice Captain and Sports Captains, resolve to do your best at all times to make this place and school an example to other institutions all around. <laughs> 